My name is Hank. Oh, you like like that. Oh, wonderful. So, are you part of the designing team or driving team? Um, so, the engineers have been driving this car as well. Mm -hmm. So, in case something breaks down, they can immediately troubleshoot. Ah, this is the car we're going to Okay, stellar. Uh -huh. So, the biggest difference of this time versus previous time is that this time um, our car was allowed to be five meters long. Previous time it was allowed to be four and a half meters long. Uh, furthermore, we have one square meter of uh, solar panels less than previous time. So that meant we could make a much, much more aerodynamic design. Um, so to make it, I mean, it's it's worse because that's less solar panels because less solar panels are allowed. Um, but the aerodynamics make up for a lot of difference. Uh, what also a lot better is we have a five-seater this time. So this is actually the world's first five-seater solar car. <laughs> yep, so we have two seats in front and three seats in back. And another improvement is that this time we are fully road legal. So we are allowed to go drive in the Netherlands, in Belgium, in France, in Germany, no trouble at all. Video. Oh, I see. It does seem yep, shorter and then I see. So it's longer. Oh, okay. So if you look at it from the side. Oh yes. Oh I see. It was way more uh, the previous one was made a lot more like the rectangle on the side. Because they had to cram as many solar panels as they could in the area they had. So if you look at it right now, it's, it's way more curved and aerodynamic. Ah, yes. Because about, we weren't allowed to use more solar panels anyway. What about the cells itself? It's completely silicon? I'm sorry? What kind of solar cells are you using? Are we using silicon cells? Same as the previous time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure they're actually... They're probably a little bit better because research. Uh -huh. um, it's all constantly improving. Yeah, I mean everything is constantly improving as are we. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> Very good. So, what will you be doing after this? Are you heading for different parts of Australia? Or uh, well, uh, if I were to go back directly to the Netherlands right now, um, I would be just too late for the next semester to start at the university. So what I'm going to do is travel throughout Australia, New Zealand, a little bit of Asia, oh, and then be back in time for the next semester. Make it around the world. Fantastic. Yep. Have fun. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah,